So anyway, just as just as we ended that game, you said you posed a question, which was, "What's your favourite game? What's my favourite game? Yeah, and what the did game I say? ever? So I said, it's it, a hard. It, it is a lot like trying to pick your favourite child, isn't it? It is. I I mean, for me, I don't know. It's it's a hard one. I see. There's a lot of games depending on the different consoles to what I liked. See, I mean, it's an easy to ask question, isn't it? Yeah. And it's a very difficult to answer question. But there's a lot of games I can say I I play a lot of, but I don't know if I put more hours into a game, it wouldn't necessarily mean it's necessarily my favourite. It just means it's taken me more hours because of the type of game that it is. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Sure, sure. Because otherwise, like, I mean, people are spending like their entire lives playing Death Stranding at the minute. Um, and they might not even like it. No, they might saying, not even like it. I'm not saying um, that you, 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 no, no, if you, you don't like a game. So I'm just saying, for example, with the with a Fallout game, for right. example, you might just like, I like it enough to keep playing it. It's not my favourite game, but I kind of want to see what happens and I want to see what I can do just to see if I, you know. You find it enjoyable enough to keep playing it. It's one of those games you can put hours into, yeah. but you wouldn't necessarily say it's your favourite game. The sort of game that you could just sink a lot of time into. To yeah. Pass the time away. Yeah. But there are other games, for example, <clears throat> uh, let's pick one off the top of my, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but a game that doesn't take that long to do a playthrough, if you're good at it. Yeah. But it's a game that you get the same amount of enjoyment from it every time you play it regardless if you've played it 10 times that week one time that week or a bit every day you, See, do you know what i mean thing is with you i i would say that you probably have a, a particular type of game that you're actually more fond of um i don't know there's you certainly like your business sims and your strategy type games. i do i'm much like i am i am a very big mobile gamer I mean, and it drives you mad, I know, but I yeah, quite yeah. like the games where I like time timed games where you have a s specific amount of time to do a specific job, um, and you have to strategize how you're going to do that, like like the hospital and things like that. You have to use, you know, yeah. think where you're going to put everything. Now, team hospital, depending on what level you're on, can take a while to complete a level, and then you can play a game, other games that I've got, for example, that once you've run out of energy. You can't play it, but I'm one of these people because I have a few games going at a time. I'll just top from one to to another, and then at once, by the time I finish that round, I can go back to the first game again. I think that's probably what a lot of people who play a lot of um, mobile games do is they sort of like do that thing. If you don't want like, to play, well, for while, it. while I'm waiting for my energy to replenish, I'm gonna play Plants vs Zombies for a bit. Yeah. And then, yeah. I mean, Plants vs Zombies is quite a fun game. I quite enjoy doing it because again you have to really think about how you're going to do it to beat the zombies. What I hate about mobile gaming though know, is they're almost all uh, geared around, uh, particularly the ones that are free to download, they're almost all geared around making you pay to keep playing. Yeah but I think if you're one of these people that is like me that's like say I don't need an immediate recognition or immediate thing back from a game that I'm playing, I don't need to pay for it because I'm, like, I'm quite happy to wait for something to replenish for to keep playing but I do get it there is with some games especially games that really suck you and with some people they do like to pay because they want to get that media gratification of completing that section or doing that job on a particular you know on a game but I'll say I'm quite happy to wait when I play I think I know what you mean you think, you know, I think I, have, I know what you I'm, mean. I'm saying I'm not I, I won't necessarily buy anything when I'm playing a game I mean, don't get me wrong. I have been, I have in the past, but it's not, you know. But I, I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that does it all the time. I would rather play, I would rather pay mm -hmm. a, a reasonable sized fee fee mm -hmm. for a game that is complete and doesn't come with any strings attached. Yeah. And that used to be the case years ago. I remember mm -hmm. I bought um, Grand Theft Auto Vice City for the iPad. Yeah. It's like eight quid, all in, done. That's it. There's the game. There's none of this no. sort of like. Now you've in done the first mission. Pay another five pound to play again, or if you want the full weapon pack, you know, it's four ninety nine. Or yeah. Anything like that. I mean, I get what you're saying. And a lot of games, what they do now is, if you want to 
get more energy or you want to get more gems, depending on what kind of game you are, you can watch adverts. And well, things see, like that. There is those options yeah. as well. Ironically, that's what Grand Theft Auto has become. Right. Hasn't it? Not necessarily the adverts thing, but it's now become like games as service. It's a, it's a free to play game. Yeah. In, in a certain respect. And then you have to part with money to get goodies and in-game currency and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And it's it become that thing that it didn't used to be. I mean, a lot of games that go that start off when we were growing up, the way that they would do. See, I another thing that potentially bothers me about games nowadays is when you're on a console, you have to go onto the console shop, like uh, you have to go on the Microsoft shop, or you have to go on the PS, the PlayStation shop, and you have to download a game onto your console. You don't get a physical copy of a lot of games yeah. now. And me personally, I loved if I was going to buy a game or get a game, opening it up and the excitement, opening it up and getting the new disc to play. That was part of the excitement for me. So, although I, yes, I do download games, I do miss having the physical copy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I like having a physical copy. Um, unfortunately, having a physical copy of, of a modern game these days is, is not necessarily the whole game either. No. And a lot of these games, it's, it's, it's so little actually on the disc, it's more like a prompt to download an update which is about 60 gig, and that's like the game. Yeah. You know, but old games like, well, like what we used to play. Like you bought Golden Axe for Mega Drive, you got the whole damn game. See, that's one of the games that I do. In, I have, you know, enjoyed growing up playing is Golden Axe. But it's a game because mm. a lot of people hate Golden Axe, and that's fine. But me personally, it's a game I really enjoy. They hate it because they don't, they don't understand it. No, it's not that. It's just different people have different opinions. And again, like we've always said. <laughs> It, it's a game that I enjoy because it's a game that has nostalgia for me that I grew up with, that I've played a lot as a child. So it's a game that I'll always remember. As, and it, do you know what I mean? I, I quite enjoy. Like Sonic. I mean, there's kids now that will play a game like that and they'll be like, oh, it's rubbish. And that's okay because they, they don't have that link to it, whereas we do. Yes, absolutely. And I think... That's what one thing people need to recognise is the differences is it's okay to not like all the same things because that'd be pretty boring. And there would be no need for us to do YouTube. Yeah, well yeah, exactly. And show people no we do enjoy. No YouTube career for us. 